12. Uh, let's call to order the um, November 25th, 2019 Municipal Buildings Committee. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, I understand Claire may be here. She may be running late. Um, and Gary will not be attending tonight. So, uh, just she's coming back, back from to kind of his daughter. Okay. And Dave's uh, volunteered for uh, note taking. Mr. Phil. You're on. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good. All right. So, uh, not seeing any um, select board liaison. Is that still something that we we're we're expecting? Has anyone heard otherwise that they're no longer participating or? I forget who was our last liaison. Yeah, I know. Through rotated a little bit. So. It's rotated. Yeah, I'm not sure who's. That's okay. Here. Just wondering if we should have uh, you know, save a slot on the agenda for them. Well, here we go. No, <laughs> Chris, 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 we just mentioned you. All right. Thanks for coming. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. No, only, okay. only <laughs> like 30 <laughs> seconds. So much appreciated for coming. Um, so we do have a quorum. We've started our meeting. Um, the first item on the agenda is uh, the select board has tasked the committee to offer suggestions as to the future of the Goodwin Memorial Library after the library vacates the facility. And if I could start yeah. off, the reason what's happened is that we, the town has, uh, will be hiring a new HR person. We've done a uh, change of offices up on the second floor primarily. And we are getting extremely tight now. Uh, it's because of the shift, uh, there's not as much room. So could you outline for us who's there now? So what has happened is, the treasurer's office next door here, uh, Joan and Linda were in there. Part of that's going to be the new HR office where you are going to infill the uh, wall that was opened up previously between the two offices. So the HR person can have his own spot. Linda, the treasurer, has now gone to the other side of this room down to where the planning board was. So the nice thing is the planning board graciously accepted even a smaller room, which was a filing room in back of the small meeting room that's across the hall. So they've really downsized it. Today we did a major move, got rid of a, a, a lot of furniture, a lot of uh, older filing cabinets, consolidated where we could, but we're pretty pretty jammed up. I've taken all the ZBA files into my office, and things are really at capacity. So certainly with that, the select board said, you know, within a year we're going to have the use of the good one, and we don't have the use of all the floors because the second floor is not accessible at this point. But probably before we do decide to do anything with that, there's probably a good use. Possibly some of the departments can go over there. So the issue is what would be best for the offices to go over there versus what's here? So that's an open end question. I think that you know there has to be some discussion with some of the departments. We know the ones that have to stay here, but there are probably a couple. Could very well be the planning board could go over there. Could very well be others, ZBA, whoever. Uh, I mean, I think we need to uh, look at those departments and see what would be very constructive for the town. Then will be the bad, the best. Certainly, we can have meeting rooms there. Mm. So, do we have all meetings over there, or do we keep this meeting room, get rid of the smaller one? So there's a lot of possibilities, and I think that I think with all of our backgrounds, we can give the uh, select board a pretty good idea of what could happen and why. What would be the interaction required from the uh, you know, planning board's perspective? You know, they've always said if we reuse that facility, there would be parking issues. It's still going to be an issue, but uh, there is changes that can happen with the zoning that would uh, allow municipal parking there go for variance. but just for a reuse would we have to even go for approval 
Well, right you know, now, I'm not trying to certain navigate. I just want to understand what's what's prudent to do as far as you know their their interaction with with the potential of having a few extra offices or or even maybe some public spaces. There is that. Does that trigger the planning board approval? Yes, it would trigger because the planning board approval. Yes. Okay. Even for our own town's municipal use. If we want to follow protocol, what we've done in the past, and and don't, I, I think it would be a good thing. But that's my own position. It's something we can certainly ask the select board what their position on something like that would be. We can all take a vote on that and how we feel it should go forward. But um, if, if you remember when they passed. Um, the senior center, I believe, and they said, forget about Goodwin use because you have no parking for that square footage. Um, you know, that's that's why I'm kind of in favor of the parking lot across the street for this building, and hopefully it would work. And <clears throat> I know that's not within their rules because it's across the street, but with a light. And I would think Tom's people would say, hey, can, what are you going to do? Have a vacant building because you don't have space to park? Yeah. Um, I, would, I think it's sellable for that parking lot um, to serve this building and that building. Well, the primary reason of um, the way it's set up right now, it's dangerous. Right. I think you'll have the fire chief, certainly myself, and the police chief behind it's a good time to make modifications to what we have. That's dangerous during the daytime. It's very, well, very nice at the nighttime. If there was a, yeah. a meeting, you know, you'd have people crossing in the dark. It's not. It's not, it's yeah, not conducive it's not to safety well at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just pull it in tonight. You know, I pulled in the back end, and somebody's right behind me. You know, pulling into the space I was about to back into. I mean, that's minutes ago. Yeah. You know, if I wasn't right paying attention, I would have smashed them. So what's the what's the analysis ultimately of um, re required public space? You know, i.e., conference areas, conference rooms, meeting rooms. Once the library and the senior center is constructed, does that does that give us enough accessible meeting areas within within town, or or is it maybe a good idea to have another one at the Goodwin with the accessible? Well, I operating? think we need one at Goodwin. Um, Certainly, this is our largest one right now. It's, it's been great having the other one across the hall um, because we've had had multiple uh, meetings, but that one's quite small. So there is a bunch of uh, back and forth. This gets crowded sometimes, and we we posted it for the number of occupancies. And it might be good for certainly, we'll say even the select board meetings when things are very important to the people that we have the room so we don't have to figure out what to do and either put it over in the schools. I think it's a very good idea, well worth use of that space. As, as only like 20% of the select board here, I feel like it would be great if we had an ex like a meeting space that was accessible that it, where the main town government met. Because I mean here, it's kind of accessible, but I think it's questionable. It's I mean, we have an elevator, but I've been here and poor. seen people get stuck in the elevator. So it's a very poor. Um, elevator, yes. And you know, I think there are people with disabilities in town that would be more involved if we had a space that was accessible. And I think the library and senior center are possibilities, but they neither one really has a meeting room where. You know, Hadley Media could have set up their cameras and have it all so that they don't have to take up and put down every yeah. time we meet and all those things. So it would be good. It makes sense to me to have that be a space that's a little bigger than this room and, and set it up right so when up. people come and show us things, yeah. we have a pull down screen yeah. and everything's all set up where we're yeah. not. Like you said, now pulling everything apart. Yeah, because every time, yeah, if somebody comes in with a screen, I mean, it's so hard in this room to set, set up a up. screen and then yeah. trying to get it on Hadley Media, you can't right. get it. Get a monitor and it was set up for audiovisual. 
Yeah, yeah, and make it a little bit more up to date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Millennium, right? Yeah, yeah. So the first floor is handicap accessible. The bathroom is the problem. The bathrooms are a problem. Is is the basement um, where they, way back when we had preschool down there, is that accessible? No. No. And it could be that that back entrance with a sort sort of a step down, step down. It's a long, slopey. You could make a ramp out of that, like like the old yeah, one at Hooker be, School. But it, you know, it'd be very, very difficult. It'd be so long. Yeah. When you're talking that length, uh, it's what it's better to have a lift. And is that property? Um, is there enough room left on that side? Is that, where's the property line against the V one? It's V1? very close to the. The edge of the bottom um, of the ramp or the yeah. slope. Yeah, it's right on it. Right where the grass starts and the bushes end. Yeah. So, so right could, could the basement yeah. be so used for like handling media where customers don't do customers go to see them, need to see them in their office? I mean they're in the second floor. Yeah, right they're now. in the second yeah. floor, which I think might be a good spot for them to yeah. stay yeah. if yeah. they're yeah. comfortable there. <clears throat> um, but but I'm just thinking of um, or even like planning board they could have their meetings upstairs where it's accessible, but their office could be in the basement or on the second floor. Is that what Exactly, that, yeah, yeah. That, can, that is a <coughs> doable solution. Yeah. Just and as long as you have a place yeah. for everybody in the meeting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I think it's important to, you know, you know, a lot of these decisions are being made as if they're gonna be permanent. We don't know what the permanent use is going to be of this building, and the, you know a lot of the a lot of these departments we're talking about. And I don't work in this building, but a lot of these departments, it's, it's great to keep them all in one building. Yeah. And the, um, you know the the fact that how the media is over there already <coughs> and wired for it is an important thing to keep in mind. And Park and Rec could probably use that area because they can do programs. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That was going to be my next point, is this park and rec kind of yeah, needs a little I, space. That's been brought up to me by, by several people in town who are not involved with any committees. or is a, Everybody keeps saying to me, why doesn't park and rec use that, you know, that building, that first floor or that building? Because they, they could use it for programs. They have no program space. Or just storage well, space, too. I mean, in the basement. They have North Hadley there. Hall. They have some stuff stored now, but... It's kind of like where do they put that stuff? Um, the basement would be ideal. Yeah, for or even uh, they've said you know they do the Easter Bunny event, they do the Rag Shag Parade, all those things. They have like supplies they need for those. Eleven and a half months out of the year they're stored, but then they do these special yeah. events and they need those things. So, yeah. and, and the but, fact that you have, I mean, you know, everything's really tight right now because of all the construction that's happening here in the center of our town. We're 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 gaining on it. It's coming together, but I think things will loosen up once those parking lots open up, and people will be a little less worried about where they're going to park once the library and the senior center, both buildings are complete, the lots are complete. There's plenty of parking for everybody. Um, I think this it'll be less of a concern. I think it'll loosen up a little bit. I don't think we shouldn't cancel our parking lot for Russell School by any stretch of the imagination. It still needs. It should have been done by now, in my opinion. So we do have the money that was voted by the select board to go forward with the design. We don't have the money to build it, but in order to get a, a good, solid estimate on the construction costs, we need to do the, the design. Because it'll be drainage system, lighting, landscaping. Right, and that, that's something we can start pushing and say, hey, let's get this over to. Berkshire design and get it going. Get okay, it so be- before we jump into that agenda, I think this yeah. is next. I just want to circle back on the park and rec, and you mentioned programs, but I mean the the restroom issue is still uh, uh, an issue. If, That's if we why they asked how that. close the property line is. Where are we going to build restrooms in that building? I, I think well, there actually was a probably about 15 yeah. years ago, or even before that, there was a plan to put it on the north side. Yeah. it would have created a stairwell, um, elevator, Beth, yeah. bathrooms, and all and. It, it would have expanded a little bit towards the library, but there was still room because it didn't even hit the parking lot that's there. Mm-hmm. So that that exists. still was viable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so we're, I think we're still stuck with that, with that having to do that. Of of the two options you mentioned, both probably would be better served with with 
restrooms and yeah. accessible yeah. routes. I, no matter what you do over there, you can't do it without the, the proper restrooms. I mean, that should be actually the focus of what are we going to do with that building? Well, wait a minute. Let's see. Have have let's have some bathrooms. Let's have some It will be the same thing if you if you decided to work on Russell School. What are you going to do? It well, first of all, you got to find a place to put some real bathrooms. So there was discussion about for the time being to put one at least one bathroom if we can get a um, a waiver on the two bathrooms and put one bathroom on the first floor in that uh, the northern room. Mm -hmm. At least get that in um, for for temporary use if we're going to go forward with a tower on the north side and do what we really should be doing. Right. Yeah. So would that uh, elevator on the north side um, go up to the second floor? Second and the basement. Yeah. So all floors would be accessible. So then at least um, that way you're doing some good planning for long range mm -hmm. where you have plenty of expansion space for things here mm -hmm. and um, between that building and this building we think we'd be covering quite a few years in the future yeah making a decent investment not I mean you think you could get at least two offices in this space yeah. right okay. so, oh easily yeah. yeah oh yeah I mean probably three how big of a I guess the question is how big of a conference room do you need at town hall for town hall based meetings I mean we have that one still or, that's kind of you small know, for all the department small. heads and things. But like I mean, that. you could have department head meetings over there, yeah, right? Could. I mean, that way you'd have enough space. Mm -hmm. But for but you know, we're we're getting to the point. What do yeah. we actually will need for office space with a tech, new technology? Um, you know, we're now getting into uh, going forward to digitize everything mm -hmm. is going to open up some good space around here. Mm -hmm. So you're not having, look at, we must have threw away 20 plus um, filing cabinets today. We were able to consolidate all that stuff. I mean, my back room, huge. That could be a beautiful office space, mm -hmm. but that's jam packed. If, when the time comes in which we will do, uh, I put that on the digit, digitize yeah. it all, do we need to save a lot of it? Is Xamarin saving all of it? We're keeping our paper at this point, and frankly, I find it easier to read than the digitized. We all do. <laughs> so <laughs> I wouldn't get rid of it, but we do keep it off-site, so if we ever need to go back for it, or we need it. We you keep it off-site? North Amherst, North Amherst School, the 1200 North Pleasant. I wonder, you know, we have... So if you've got a space, you know, we don't access it all the time, <laughs> but if you need it, it's there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean the basement here, we're doing that conditioned room. I don't know how much space that will be. Many years there. ago, we gave up the um, bunker, and the bunker is now used for most of the archives for the Amherst College. College. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah. yeah. Could I mean, we books. ask them for some of that? That thing is enormous. Yeah. I mean, we should have taken that. But unfortunately, yeah, did. we didn't. So <laughs> big. <laughs> yeah, huge. <laughs> but I don't know how many of you have been in that place. I've never been in there. Yeah. It's it's massive. It's it's, yeah. it's very large. It is very large. larger than you would ever expect. Oh. It is multiple floors. It's you know you, you see the movies with that big. You look down and the big screens across. Yeah, that's not far from there. the truth. <laughs> Plus the biggest cafeteria, and I think it can hold 125 people mm. for for six months plus. I mean, you got all, every. It's huge. It's so many floors. Is there any thoughts on other programs, uh, other other departments that would be a good fit? I'm thinking, I mean, it's a good discussion that we need yeah, to have no, somehow, but I think yeah. think those are the ones that keep on popping up, Park and Rec and um, Planning Board. So planning Board, so I mean, CBA indoor is, meeting spaces. Right? Well, the only, the only thing I would say about Planning Board is I know the Select Board would like to have a, a planner, planner, and that person could be part DPW, part 
planning board, but they, you know, where would they best be? You'd hate to have them be by themselves, you know? Yes. So, um, so kind of keep that here. But you're still going to have somewhat of a planning board. But there would be a planning board, but just how closely would the planner and planning board kind of overlap? If you know? we get some of the, some, you know, we get Jenny out of here, we get the planning board out, yeah. and we have a space right now for the planning board. Yeah. Could yeah. the planner be in there? Of course they could. Yeah. I mean, that would, I mean, I know Amherst kind of share a space. The large. With with uh, like uh, taking one of those classrooms at Russell School and putting a bunch of cubicles so we have yeah. everybody's mixed, and, which yeah. is actually good for collaboration because yeah. you can just walk to your neighbor there and you can find out what's going in zoning or you can go talk to the conservation commission just across the way. So it's good to have everybody in space yeah, yeah. in the building mm -hmm. for that reason. But, yeah. yeah. And I don't know what's in the planning board office right now, but I'm guessing most of it's the scanner. Is that mostly what's no, there? No, the scanner's out in the, the... Oh, is the scanner over here? The scanner's out in the um, meeting room. Okay. And right now, it's just a small table and uh, the files. Yeah. Which can be then consolidated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's a board, so, you know... Yeah, if that goes over, that could be a... Which is good to be near... The, the uh, inspection services mm -hmm. which would be very helpful. Yeah, I'd like to see if we could get maybe representatives of those two departments just to join us for a conversation about that. What are the what are the pluses and minuses of uh, moving them? How would you like to see this to go forward? You want something more on the select board level? Everybody to get together, or do you want to deal with the department head first? I mean, you could talk with the departments and see what their needs are, um, and then go to the select board, but... Or have it with this I board. mean, frankly, yeah. I, I think having them here on camera represented, yeah. you know, it's not he said this and, uh, and you're reporting back, it's actually that person in a chair yeah. on camera um, telling us what their needs are. So I think Jenny would be more than happy to come talk mm -hmm. about what yeah. she's thinking and how that could maybe work for Park and Rec, and yeah. I'm sure Andy would come too. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right uh, now, Park and Rec is, is has a small space in here somewhere? They're here, yeah. They're and the, but the, the, their problem is, is that they have an office here, they run the after school program, and all their programming is mainly at the elementary school. So I, I think Ideally, she'd like to be at the elementary school because so much is happening there and there's a lot of time running back and forth, but there's no space there either. So if there could be some programming in the basement of the Goodwin, that would be good, but I don't know how many, you know, actual programs could get run out of there because it's, you know, soccer, basketball, all those things. But how, I mean, how advantageous is it for Park, is it for park and Rec to have a, 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 an office in this building? Do, do no really right there's but, no real need for it to right be here. but on the other hand um, planning board there is some huge advantages to having planning board in the same building with other town offices the clerk the building inspector the assessor I would say a planner but the planning board is never around when we're around yeah right so that's yeah. one of the so their main next. records and and accessibility to their stuff would we can't have, we don't have accessibility to their stuff. No. I don't know. I but just, the planner is a different yeah. mix that would be extremely helpful to have in the building with the oh yes yeah. I just trying to what's the best fit if you're going to put a department in that first floor at, you know on a temporary or semi permanent basis of some sort what what's going to work over there better than and what's going to work? What's going to? The only so that's why I'd like to hear from those departments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would say get them. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. The yeah. one good benefit for Jenny, the Park and Rec, to be here is, it's a lot easier for residents to come in and talk to her, and she does have a, a pretty much of a steady flow, on a daily basis with people coming, asking her questions to sign up and things like that. Um, certainly, it's probably much better than it was in North Hadley. Yeah, it's easier to find. It's more common sense yeah. to find her here. Yeah. So I think if it's in a good one, 
that probably makes more sense there because this is really prime real estate for business, paying your taxes, getting your permits, whatever, mm -hmm. versus recreation. You know, so that there or departments that people aren't going to daily or even like planning board, like you say, they're not here during the time. Their office hours are at night times. So people can go there. I, I, yeah, and I, and I like the idea of the temporary restroom until we can afford to do a full vertical circulation restroom, you know, build out, which, you know, that's a project now, right? So mm -hmm. to do something that, you know, shouldn't be too hard and we still do no harm to the existing historic facility with sensitive the way we do it, I think. Yeah. It could be a, a good solution for the short term. Yeah, especially since it's, I mean, when, when the library vacates, um, you'll have plenty of, you know, yeah. area to stretch out in there and, and you find where it's going to make the least amount of damage to, to put up a wall, make an accessible restroom. Yeah. And sure. when the, if you can get the planning board here, then you can talk to them too about what our strategy would be exactly. to getting yeah. something like a meeting yeah. space yeah. in there because, you know, what are their thoughts? I mean, I know when, you know, we were putting in the the library and senior center. There was a lot of talk about the good yeah. one and what's the plan going to be for that. We don't have a plan and those kind of things. But you know, I don't know. We'll well, see what see what they think now and how we can work towards. Something. We're still in the big, huge, you know, state of flux. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, there's going to be a few years. You're still going to go by before this is all settled down. So. Oh yeah. I, I hope people don't get. You know, to like this is where the playing board is going to be forever, and this is where no. you know partner rec is going to be, you know, forever. It just I don't think yeah. we're ready to make those kinds of decisions. It's important to get those departments in here to, you know. No, certainly I've I've been a great advocate. It's time that we start really seriously looking at some of our zoning. It's time for some change, and I think that some of the planning board members understand that this might because of what's happened with the library and the L Bean and a few other things it might be a good time to look at changing how we do parking because most everybody else is parking by use so I mean depending on what the use is depends how many parking spaces and it's pretty simplistic it's been known you go through it all the time it's all it's time. pretty straightforward yeah and I, I I can see a little bit of positive thinking on that with a few other caveats that we kind of could do. So I'm really encouraged to hear that there could be a town planner in our future. Mm -hmm. I, you mm -hmm. know, works with so many town planners that create the vision and the direction for the towns and then really yeah, just we need it. And, yeah. and to understand that the you know, planning board needs someone to execute some of the longer range plans, which, you know, they, they, they can only do so much as a as an organization, so that's a great idea. But uh, let's get the let's get the, the boards in here. If you hear of others or think of others that want to be heard and you know state yeah, your case on television, then I can't think of anybody let's else. Let's start that's with immediate. those first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only other department I see maybe is like Board of Health. If we ever have to get more staff for Board of Health, maybe. But it also works here. But I don't know. You know. Uh, I don't see any other major staff coming on board mm. in the next. It's time to look at how that's going to function, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we've talked about some possibilities of the the inspection. We the, the agency that they have right now yeah. is has told the town that in the future, at some point, with our input, they wish to retire. So we have to start looking at what we're going to do yeah. for Board of Health inspections. Mm -hmm. Could very well be that we can mold that into um, on weights and measures and get something that, that really is works well for the town, um, fortunately makes some money on the side, and does all the inspections that that's greatly needed. Yeah, yeah. Certainly Board of Health is one you don't want to cut and, and yeah. because you need those inspections done well and that's, that's yes yeah. Oh, yeah yeah well there's, so there's a lot of flux a lot of things we got to look at oh yeah <laughs> you, as, yeah yeah you i think to answer your yeah. point too when, when the library vacates the, the 
you know, we're going to have an open space. I mean, we don't want to cut it up and, you know, it's a historic yeah. property. So I think we want to be sensitive to that, especially in, in, in the thought that, you know, it might not be the final condition, right? We might have three or four swings between departments in the end, so we want to have this as right, flexible Right, but it will be can. open for us to repair those ceilings, yeah. cut out that knob yeah. and tube. There's a lot of work needs to be done in that building, and we've been putting it off. The library has done a great job of maintaining that building, mm -hmm. and it would really be a shame if we don't take the time while it's empty to just to do all that stuff that's been needed right. for all these years, put a, put a, even if it's just a temporary restroom for a few years, get that done so that we can use the building properly, Right. And then you have a building with new wiring, you know, new serve, new plumbing, everything that's ready to go and ready to be worked on for future use. Right, and I think to that end, we want to have a plan and we want to say we're going to bring this to the town next fall, you know, with, with a dollar value to do the repairs we need and, and to add the swing spaces as necessary. Well, they're pushing it. Try to get it to the Springtown meeting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we have some numbers from. Uh, geez, yeah. we had a bunch of stuff worked up for all of those okay. different jobs. Well, that's, yes, that's we good. So a lot of let's those. let's be prepared for that meeting. With yeah, a, we with need a, with an honest, well assembled plan, including costs, mm -hmm. that we can present to the select board. So yeah, that would be great. I think that's the thing. Is yeah, with some general concepts, you know, maybe meeting space on that first floor, like you're saying. Phase one is maybe one thing, and then phase two is putting on an addition and those kind of things. Right, That'd be great. And maybe and before too long, get together with the uh, existing library trustees to find out and get some of their information. At least they had some, you know, plans of attack when it came to maintaining their building. I'm sure mm -hmm. uh, they were pretty pragmatic about how they put things together over there. So, well, we we need to know which departments are going there so we can come up with a floor yes. plan and so let's do that next let's meet with park and rec and planning board uh, do you want to meet them you together know. or do you want to meet separate we could do back-to-back -back meetings uh, on it let's get it done let's have it let's have them both at the meeting we'll concentrate our agenda on, on that on that topic so okay. Does anyone disagree? Park, park and I, and I have to agree. agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All the other building projects have committees and they're working hard at getting those things done. So yeah. let's try to get ahead of I don't of want to spread this out and then we and then we yeah. are not prepared for a, a recommendation by the time the warrants close. Do you want to I mean, do you want to try to meet mid mid December? Yes. I think it's gonna be a schedule driven kind of scenario if we can get them in and uh, the same night, then uh, do everything we can to get, get a quorum here. We can do it in the first or second week. I'll, I'll look at... I don't know. I was going to try to look and see when warrants are due. I don't have that with my helpful no, information here. If I have my computer, I could look it up, but I don't have my computer. Usually February-ish. Yeah, that's when I would think it is. February, late February, 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 February. We, yeah. could, we could put something on the warrant. Yeah. And then if, we, if you guys think you're going to be close, and then we'll just get okay. the detail as yeah. time goes by, because we don't okay. have So I'll see what's on Tuesday the 10th, if, if what's scheduled here. Okay. Might be, I don't know. It could be conservation. I don't know. I think they're the third. No, the and first the and third board. is planning, so it might. Uh, I'll I'll get some day. Yeah, I'll get a day. But we're looking right at the very beginning. Let's do that. Yeah, for earlier rather than later. Mm -hmm. Ninth or tenth or something like that. Right now, the tenth only has a list of the library trustee meeting on on the web. So in here. They wouldn't be here. No, would be at the library. The, the planning board's on the third. Yeah, the third and seventeenth. Okay, let's just, see. Just begin to work. Before we leave this topic, I think it's yeah. good that we're thinking about the library, and because if we make the improvements now, we're more likely to keep that building. I think if we let it just sit there without any uses going in there, it's just, just yeah. going to fall apart. Right. But yeah. on the same token, I think it would be good if we could get a price on putting that addition because it's not very big and it wasn't very complicated. Let's just go whole hog and get it done because as time goes on, it's going to cost us more. 
Everything yeah. we do is temporary. And we're doing that years, bathroom. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and that bathroom could sit there for 10, 15 could. years. Yeah. And, and yeah. in the meantime, we've, we've just chopped up a space we could have used. Well, I, I, I kind of agree with you because we're going to spend whatever thousands of dollars yeah. for a bathroom. And then maybe five years down the road, we're going to put in bathrooms again. So why not put whatever money it, into the first time, like you said, and then you're well, chopping up a room where you could have an office space. You know, it's got nice windows in it right now. Yeah, and that's a really nice room. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. If yeah. we can start or, at the town meeting or not, well, maybe it's a different start. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's a million dollar addition right there. Yeah, yeah we know that. Yeah, so definitely, you good. know, whatever the palette is for the community to accept another project. I don't but know. But I that building is done. I wonder if that will Do you think it could be a CPA project? That huh. it's restoration. I think we could turn. I think that that's arguable. Yeah, it is yeah, arguable. Be, we we're just need to talk to them. Yeah. TPA doesn't like to spend money on town buildings, <laughs> and we have a use for. Change the tide. Maybe, maybe they do. Maybe they do. I don't know. We can. We, we can, can ask. We can send a delegate there to. Yeah. To I mean, I mean, it's the right thing to do to ask. We, we, you know, be fools to just pass it up and yeah. miss an opportunity if it's. I'd hate to, like you said, I'd hate to put a bit bathroom in that back room. You'd ruin the, the nice wood floors. You got the trim. It's, it's not ideal. Yeah, all that trim. It's better than going It's a beautiful, gorgeous room. Yeah. And you'd have to, you'd have to find a way to, you know, put the plumbing right where the stairway is or something. You know, it just. It, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure I would put it on an outside wall. So we can do both alternative plans and see what works. Right. Did we ever put any more money into the, um, for the uh, engineer? For the engineer architectural services. Because all we have right now is um, yeah. only a couple thousand dollars left. I don't know. I think we need to check. I don't that. know if we did that. I thought I got postponed myself. Hmm? I, th I thought it was postponed. I, I think it last was. Town meeting. I think it was. We, we had so money in an OPM fund, but then that was going to get used for the DPW. So I don't know what we have available for the municipal building. Well, the senior center did come in a million dollars over bid, so. <laughs> well, at least we, if we don't have it, we can get it on for Springtown meeting. At yes. least get things rolling in that direction. Mm -hmm. So when when we get the money, we can go right into <coughs> design. We mm -hmm. get it done. Yeah. 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 It's not the ideal scenario, but it's. What was your your note about when the library is going to vacate? Was it November? September twenty twenty. But we'll have, we'll, in that, in September 2020, we can start some of the projects that we need to do. Take down the ceiling, get the um, yeah. knob and tube up, get the alarm system up, upgrade the electrical, get yeah. that ceiling back. Can we have designs and costs for that, Tim? Yes, we have. We got costs. a lot of that stuff. We, yeah. we priced it out and it was ready to go we to have, bed, I thought. We, Larry did the design work already. That's all already and going okay certainly we can add a little bit because of let's get that all make sure that's all prepared across the t's dot the i's mm -hmm. i'd like us to review that as a group does that include a new service electric service no we should that was the only problem that. that's one of the stumbling yeah. blocks why we held off yeah it's because when we went back to the uh, main panel we found that it was pretty a small as is. Well, I had all those the skinnies in, and you know, mm -hmm. we're not allowed to do that. That should be included in this whole project. At least, right. yeah, we'll have to update that. That's a given. So, move to approve that at, at spring meeting. So, we'll, we'll have all that prepared mm -hmm. because it sounds like it's pretty close. Yes. Get that all prepared for spring, approve that for spring with the thought to, to go to work on it. We could even bid it already. Mm -hmm. Uh, as soon as the library is vacated, the, the, the work can start. And at the same time, Springtime asks for the more money, design money, to do the um, addition. Full addition. 
which so would get, negate the work that we're doing to repair the ceilings and add the service. So it's it's a phased project yeah. in that sense. Okay. Well, let's start with getting the departments here. Okay. And then uh, and just you know recycle whatever uh, Larry has developed for you, so we can get a good eye on that. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Like you said, the electrical services and other thing we need to add. So we want finally. So the 9th and the 10th will, whatever day we can set up, planning board and park and rec. For, for the addition, I think we would need an OPM, right, for that level of spending and yes. work. Yes, 100, 150000 is that the ceiling? Uh, I, so. I think it's some, I mean, it's not a lot, I know that, so. I'm yeah, we'll sure probably need Somewhere that. in that range, so we probably sure. would, and then kind of have that initial design. Well, we can get a, we can get a sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, of what we're looking at, get some estimates what it's going to be, and then go, yeah, go yeah. down the road. Mm -hmm. that, uh, go forward with yeah, that. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's move on into the Russell School parking lot uh, question. So, you mentioned just an update on that, that the design money was approved. Yeah, the, the, they ha uh, I asked David if we had the money. And he said, yeah, I have, I have money for the Russell School study, which is 10K only. That's what works. I thought it was 16,000. I thought it's been a while now, um, but we had a proposal from that. Is this for the Russell School Committee here? The I, this is for the Russell School think, parking lot design. Yeah, because I asked him, do you... Now, with the Russell School parking lot project, is still a project which will be mo moving forward. I said, the last I knew, the select board voted to have Berkshire Design go forward with the design, but uh, we needed to find out where the funding could be. And at that time in the select board meeting, we were looking at free cash and stuff, if we could pull it out, which didn't happen. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I mean, uh, that 10,000 is, is the study. That's a whole different, that's yeah, not, uh, 16, that's the interior. Right. Yeah. This is 16.6. Yeah, Berkshire design. Six, yeah, you were right, 16.6. Yeah. I'll need to go back. I don't think we approved any of that, because <clears throat> I would have had to go on to capital, basically, and we didn't have any of that in there this last round, and okay. we didn't have any free cash either, but yeah. we could have put that into something. Um, yeah, I don't. And that's that's going to probably going to go up. Yeah. Now. Yeah, but that that would have to go in the spring. That would have to wait until springtime. Yeah. Then we got to go to design. I mean, we're pushing that into well, the fall. Well, you know, if we're going to take it to spring for approval, then we should go back to the Berkshire and ask them for a revised estimate. Yeah, it's been almost a full year. Yeah, because it won't be until the springtime that you can start the design work. So that's probably a year and a half. And half yeah, yeah. Without a design, we don't know how much that's going to yeah. cost, right? Basically, yeah. we have a guess of it. Yeah, yeah. We could throw some numbers on it, but I, yeah, I yeah. Don't know if it would do us any good to do that. How about like a design build type of thing? Would they do that or no? Not on a project like this. Oh, can you do that with a? Can you do that with a solution for? Can you do that? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, okay, never mind. mind. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I'm just asking to try to make it a yeah. little faster process, yeah, yeah. but I don't know. I think you need something like that in-house. You know, yeah. if you're if you're, use your town equipment to do it. You can. See, this is where you need a town planner because yeah. you yeah. have to write the bridging documents and the conceptual design and mm -hmm. list the whole thing. Yeah. Other towns you know, have their own OPM on staff. It's a thousand-page oh, yeah. spec book for a design build like that, you know, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, um, but once once you do that, it could go very quickly. It's just you would need someone to sort of put that together. Mm -hmm. But if we get approval in the, in the springtime to go forward with the design, yeah, then in the fall while we're doing the work in Goodwin, we can ask for the money at the fall town meeting for the project itself. We should have that by that time, and they still can do the work before winter sets in. So that'll be, the parking lot should be done when we get the first phase of Goodwin done. 
remind me, could we bid the project before we get the approval from, uh, from town meeting? I, I don't think you can. A risky anyway. They don't approve it. I'll be okay for it. No, I just know we'd have a bid and then we could, you know, say this yeah. is exactly how much we want and then give them those proceed the day after the town meeting, right? Yeah. So, so, or both. so <laughs> Kristen, does the <clears throat> select selectman have select board have any other big projects coming up in uh, the next year? Because you know, if we're saying a million there plus whatever the wiring is gonna be, plus the parking lot, it's another two hundred eighty. I mean, the DPW is going to be the big one. That one is kind of a high priority in my mind that we need to do. Hmm. What was that? DPW. What do they got going? Just their offices. You know, those trailers they have well, down there. We've been talking about that. And we've been talking about it for so long. And, yeah, you know, that's, hopefully that's Chris will. Yeah, um, yeah. you got to see what Chris comes back with as far as what he's thinking. But I see that as being yeah. a project. Just that. Uh, the way town meeting vote went went on the couple of highway yeah. pieces. It's almost like people are sick of spending over there. I would think. Well, if we could do CPA, if we could do CPA, I think you know there is something there. If we can get that yeah, to we, take hold, we need to get somebody over the CPA just to have some conversations. Do you know when their next meeting is? Is there? Is it a certain their 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 web page says uh, before town meetings, you know, September. Okay. And, However, I know, you know, Andy is in, I'm sure he would come if you invited him and yeah. to talk about things. I'm sure yeah. he would come and, and maybe some maybe some other people would come as well. Because when we asked them to come to a select board meeting, when we were talking about reducing that CPA funding, they, they all came. And would the select board it. then? Maybe I mean, we can we can do it too. Maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why, not, why not the select board ask both the, this committee and CPA come together yeah, and talk about that? that. Yeah. I think that might work yeah. better because you guys behind it, we're behind it. Mm -hmm. Kind of let's. My fear is this: you know, by the time we get that parking lot done, there's going to you know the building's going to be done. Our, our parking lot's going to be done. Were they supposed to start paving today at the senior center? Did they pave today? I, they're doing concrete over at the um, library. the library, but I don't know if the senior center got it was paved. On, it was on the schedule for pa paving. Was scheduled for today. It's either today or tomorrow. Yeah, paving eleven twenty-five to eleven twenty-seven before Wednesday. <laughs> And, you know, to, to, if we're if we're waiting another year for that parking lot, it's almost a waste to even bother until you start working on that building. You know, yeah, you know, I how mean, park, that's the question. Brand new parking lot's right there. Okay. If we could get you know the, the um, town zoning change to what everybody else uses. That parking lot's probably big enough for both all three buildings. Right. We can look at that. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. something to look at first before we entertain them. But that is still critical for this building to some extent. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, yeah. The, 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 that that's kind of hopelessly tied to the Russell School property, right? So yeah. 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 Well, that's what I we're think saying. the vote to vote for the money for the design for the, the parking lot is really going to be a referendum on what we're going to do with Russell School because yeah. there's going to be people that are going to say, why would we even do this if, you know, if we're going to end up having to sell half the lot yeah. um, to, to make that a viable parcel for someone if, if in fact, we were to sell it yeah. someday. Yeah. And, you know, so I, I think we, we, we can't not address that before the town meeting. But, but Claire's group figuring out what we're going to do with Russell School. Um, it's moving, right? right? The wheels are moving at least. Right? We're, we're there, the three of us, and they seem pretty uh, like energetic to come up with some answers yeah. or Good. ideas. So um, this is great. I think they're they're going to really push to maybe for spring tell me have some ideas for you guys. Okay. Yeah. What it could be. Mm -hmm. because, uh, we need to get Larry in there since we got the money, the ten thousand dollars for Larry to yeah, put it so that they're going to that meeting. The, the, yeah, they had a good array of people. They had good. You know, the developers, yeah. and they had uh, you know people have been through this before. They want Barry Roberts to go over there and join the meeting. They had a good array of people. 
an experience. Yeah, is that on YouTube, by the way, or is it I just think so. Okay. Yeah, so. No, that, that doesn't take that, that date, there's no camera. No. Oh, okay. so. Well, Claire can give us a summary when the next meeting, or we can get her. Uh, I guess regardless of uh, what happens with Russell School, this building still needs parking. So yeah. if we can get our hands on it and don't lose it, we can always rent yeah. out to the building or share it or whatever is going to be done. But right. once that's gone, we're not going to maybe something out back, but we don't own it. Yeah, I mean, it would be a shame. No solutions. I, I'm still, uh, I, you know, still want to keep saying over and over. I think this town that should be should be selling any of this property in the center of town here. Yeah. You know, just it, it, really bad how the town is really. The past 30 years have, have developed into sell North Hadley Hall and tear down Booker School. That's got to stop. We can't can't be destroying our town's history and well, the hope is that selling we it off, selling good, out. Yeah. Good partnership, and we will still own it, and somebody else maintains it and uses it. I mean, quite honestly, yeah, anybody that. that uses that building is going to be updating it. And oh yeah. Yeah, and quite. I mean, I think we all agree that the entrance is most likely going to be on on the west side. That's where their parking's going to be, in the field. Yeah, we the entrance is there. The then then you can utilize all floors. It's not going to be over here. Yeah, yeah. It's a so I mean, to put the parking lot there is not really going to jeopardize any future use of that building. No, and I I. I I kind of find it strange that people would argue that it would. Yeah. <laughs> well, that came out as the first argument came out of CPA that way. Yeah. Which was unfortunate. Mm. Well. Okay. Well, we um, we talked about the parking lot. I think we we. Uh, I have to go back and see if we have the money. Yeah. And. and um, I don't think we have. I don't think so. We do. We're going to have to go. We, we should approach Berkshire Design and ask them to update the, the, the costs. Based on Talk them. about springtime. Yeah. Um, I can easily call Mark. Oh, okay. I was. What's his name? Mark Donald. Mark Donald. Okay. You got it. Then go ahead and want you to make that an action item. And if you would, would you be able to invite the other boards for the yes, okay. I'll invite planning. I hate to and put on your list. I know you're and not, you're you know, would you guys want to meet in December, or do you, you want to wait until the turn of the year to talk about C, with CPA? Like, January. We do the December. January or December. No surprises from anybody, right? We do it early, and we, we do it often as far as yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could we have a meeting on the eleventh. I know that we could try getting it on for then. How much do you have? On the agenda right now. Uh, I don't know the, off the top yeah. of my head, but I'm well, let's see. We well, could. The, those are the time. Those if you guys are around, around. yeah. It's a yeah I'm supposed to come in. On the oh, you are. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what, that's on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so give me a, a good chunk of chunk time on that one. Thing. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> I'll probably bring three alternative suggestions to you. Okay. Something you guys can talk think about. But yeah. Yeah. Moving forward after that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, you know if you want to meet with yeah. the other folks first, or you know how you how fast you want to move, but I can try. We can try doing it in December. If you can fit it in. Yeah. On the eleventh, let's, let's yeah. do the eleventh. Because you're only meeting. You're not only meeting twice after in that December. for December. Yeah. That's it. Christian, when you do find out, would you mind sending an email to our, our little Hadley Buildings at Gmail yeah. website so that way everybody gets, gets yeah, the word? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Great. Yeah. I'm not in town all very often, so I don't yeah. have the last word, the last one to get any words unless yeah. it's uh, an email to us. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm okay. the hint yet. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said, yeah, I haven't gotten the hint yet. <laughs> Um, painting the town hall uh, columns is, is on the agenda next. And I think Tim created that agenda item. We're yeah. Uh, uh, what, what we don't have money for. <laughs> 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 and how much more it costs. And, and we'll I, I believe the money's there. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, it was the never columns. removed. I don't know. As far as I know. 
Yeah, yeah. still there. So uh, the, the, the specs are done. I'm going to get them back over to uh, uh, the town administrator. He's going to do the upfront portion of it. Uh, he has stated, and I'll send this over, give you guys this. Uh, we will bid this project in February 2020. So that was the email with the questions I had asking for. Okay. Okay. So you've got some time. But I, I, Is there anything the uh, Historic Commission has to sign off, look at, review, anything? Specs or drawings or. I can anything? easily get them over Remember to the, the doors. Room? Like, you know, we, we, they had some concerns over the doors. It turned out fine, right? Everybody's happy with the doors, but, but you know. Yes, they are. <laughs> let's just, <laughs> let's make sure everybody's aware of that. Yeah, I, I'm, that's a good point. Let's, and now I think that we've got a, a working historical commission. We can probably send those specs over and say we're looking at please do it. I mean, David can do that once he establishes the wall. Yeah. The mm -hmm. boilerplate. Any follow-up discussion on the, on the columns? Other than we all know that when those things are nice, bright, white, yeah. <laughs> it's going to make the rest of the building look bad. But Well, at least we'll have something fixed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. We should put some nice LED floods in just like the porch. It's <laughs> like a, a piece of resistance. <laughs> the, the, the rest, you know, it's, starting, it's in the dark a little more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know, Tim, that was the agenda right there. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if we missed anything. Was there any, uh, what did happen at the subcommittee for, uh, for us to do anything? Or is just getting to know people? And do they have any discussions? Or? Well, Tim, Tim gave an update to them on what's going on. Um, everybody introduced themselves. Um, it seemed like a good mix of people with a lot of energy. They actually wanted to come up with something yeah. Good. to, to um, save the building or yeah. if we own it or not to save it so it at least mm -hmm. is there with some kind of tie to the town um, so I don't know I just to me I thought there was a lot of energy there which was good was there three members or more at this point because I think we had our last meeting. four people plus Claire no, that's good to gain another one yeah and if you could you wanted me to tell you their names? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And back home. So, you know, I think they're going to go to town on it. Good. Good. The, the only thing, if they're going to they're gonna meet once a month, I thought, is I think you and I had a quick conversation on the way out the door once a month, and they got a lot, of, a lot of things to figure out in five meetings between now and town meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. that would be the only downfall. If they can accomplish it, yeah. You know, no matter how much energy, they must be doing a lot of, a lot of legwork on their own time. Lots of old work. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. did that? Th does that? Did that roof repair that we got money for? Did that fall into their hands? Are they going to expedite that project, or who's going to be in control well, of it? I know that. Gary. On Gary's County. basically going to be handling okay. that. I know that he's got to value what, what needs to be done and figure out what he can do. Yeah, Andy. He has, has to get rid of it over there. Andy had said that he, you know, put up the, the uh, amended the motion so that he could, you know, let the town keep some of the money in the account to get that job done because he was ready to pull it back from previous projects. And so there was money there for that school, and he said, we're going to keep this money there for that particular project. But we're, you know, the rest of it we're pulling back. And when you want CPA money for that building, we'll give it to you, basically. It's what you yeah, said. no, they, they pulled back the money in the old article. Right. And kept the 10000 for this working group. The working group. And then we had another article for the roof repair, and that got voted in. Okay. So that was a separate CPA article. So, but that, that's in Gary's hands. He's going to make sure that that gets taken care of. Because that's sort of like, geez, if you can get that done before, you know, too late. Yeah, he's going to try. It's, it's going to happen this winter type thing? I so hope. I mean, he, he got stuck with this. And he's, he's spent a number. This turned out, this morphed into a lot more than we expected. 
Is there any way that we can take a load off his hands if he needs help with that? Because I really don't want to see a roof get not repaired over a winter. That's I can uh, I can bring it up with Gary tomorrow and talk about expediting it. I mean, if there's somebody, you know, if, if there's any way that we can yeah. get that roof repaired with the money that we have, it's just going to cause more and more damage if it if it continues to leak or if it gets worse or. You know, if well, luckily it's not leaking a lot. That it means the the one area is very subtle. Yeah. We know that there's a number of um, slates missing. Yeah. Uh, he's going to weigh that with the um, uh, the flat roof, especially the flashing. One piece came flying off in one of the storms, yeah. so he's got to go up there with the roof guy and say, what can we do? And prioritize. Was that ever a regular contact or contract with like Revet or somebody? Did they? He's always gone with. He's them. always gone yeah. with them. Okay, so we know he's. They're familiar with the job yes. site. They know exactly. They've done a number okay, of good. fixes. Yeah, I, just being trying to be pragmatic about that. It's little things sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> we could fix that. I'll put that as an action item to bring that up with them tomorrow. Thanksgiving is supposed to be really windy. Yeah. Gary has texted me with something that he wants me to bring up. With the, are we all done with that, this Russ? Yeah, I think we're we're on to new yeah. or other business. Perfect. <laughs> so one thing that Gary's saying here is that he, they'd like us to start discussions on budget figures for contracted services for all the new buildings, mm -hmm. i.e. janitor help and things like that. The Our last department head meeting, uh, the new uh, senior center director was introduced to all of us and that was actually the first thing she brought up. Can we start talking about the new buildings and contracting services and coming up with contracts um, and so we're not utilizing different services and she brought up the janitors uh, and we've talked about that in the past so that was to start it again at the department head meeting Gary really wants to really push that forward doesn't the OPM for those projects, aren't they supposed to have at least rough figures and schedules for? Yes. Well, right. So yeah. do we, we have, have a place we can, we have a springboard to start from? That's a springboard on the costs, yes. But we need to review that to make sure that that's all we need to do. All right, so I'll, what I'll, next senior center building committee, I'll try to extract something from the OPM there. And can, David, can you do that with a library? We'll have to see if we have that information yeah. coming forth. It's more about what it's going to cost to maintain the, the life expectancy of different parts. It's True. not so much about day-to-day -day maintenance. So yeah. Well, that's what I'm a little confused of what he's number. asking for. Is that he asking about janitorial yeah. services or is he asking about, like, life cycle costs? Like, essentially, you know, plan to re replace the floor in 10 years and, and plan to, you know. No, I think he's talking about the, the daily maintenance costs. We don't have... We don't have a budget here. So given we have two new buildings there, over here you have a contract for cleaning service? Yes. So uh, Christian, maybe it would make sense that we hire a janitor that covers these three buildings yeah. as a town employee? Or, or there's a, there's or a meeting coming up there trying to coordinate this. I, I don't know if you were aware of I can double check with David, um, but there, this this ish, issue. That's what I was just trying to look up, is if I could find that meeting date. But there is a meeting coming up to talk about this issue and how to kind of coordinate it because of all these different projects happening. Was, you know, but yeah, I agree maybe, with what maybe you're one guy is like stretching it, but the new buildings, but you need bathrooms checked daily. And if there's spills or wet days, you know, you could travel from one building to the other, just mop up and, you know, and then then you figure out where the heavier plane is. Do you need a second? You've got an HR person now that can 
you know, hope for the hiring and make sure we have a decent person coming in. Mm -hmm. But uh, contracting out for all these buildings for janitorial service, I don't know. I guess if you hire Doug, you're better off contracting out because you can get rid of them. But the three buildings right in town, the guy could almost travel in a little closet with them supplies in each build, each building well I mean it's not just three buildings we could include the public safety building oh, sure with the fire station right. the substation uh, all, all those we yeah. have yeah. look at the janitor services that the schools have mm -hmm. compared to what we have is nothing mm -hmm. I, mean, I think the town really needs to start looking at what we yeah, we're going to have new buildings here. I hate to see them go to bottom. Right. And I was just calling these three, yeah. and what Goodwin was four. Yeah, so Town that's Hall. true. Yeah, so so here you are, you yeah. know, right here, all in walking distance. You got three to four buildings in a couple of years mm -hmm. that are going to be up and running. And if we're going to spend millions of dollars in these buildings and we don't have a janitor yeah. or janitors to maintain these, you know, um, you just Gotta have an energetic person or somebody that's gonna actually make sure that they're doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So Gary brought it up, and it sounds like you've already started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've heard about, it. and then we brought this up at other meetings. Gary has brought it up as well. So yeah, it's definitely on the radar, but I don't know how it's all getting coordinated off the top of my head right now. But I know there's been talk and. They're supposedly meeting. I could try looking it up again here. And no, see. I still think it's a good idea for you guys to ask the OPMs what they can, what they yeah. can or can yeah. help us with. It's nice to know. I mean, we can figure out. We know what the flooring is going to be in there. So if it's going to be carpet in areas, we're not going to this meeting to be clean. Uh, how many times a year? Uh, once a month? Yeah. What are they going to recommend? And how long is it going to last? Is, is it going to be eight years before we need to replace yeah, it and we'll continue cleaning? That next because that builds on capital right for the next yeah. longer range. I could uh, I work out something with with Phil. But we need a competent person that with with Gary too to go through these buildings once a year and come prioritize what needs to be done. Bring it towards us when we'll put all the budgets together, get to Chris and the select board, and then prioritize them from that. We really have to start focusing on things like that. And we need a budget to do it. Well, you can't be pulling them the money out of these budgets. Yeah, you would have, it, especially if you hire janitors. Well, somewhere that would be budgeted in what, townhouse maintenance or on your highway or something for those positions. And you know, it's kind of foolish to build all these buildings and not maintain them. And cleaning is the first step of maintaining it. If you don't keep it clean, and look like heck. And, yeah. I think that's the uh, that's the intent is to want to try to keep up on these buildings so that we don't find ourselves in a position where we gotta do some and, major maintenance because it's been neglected for. What so I'm long. thinking here now is if you guys decide that you want to hire versus contract out, um, and all of a sudden now you gotta go to town meeting and get money and find a person, interviews and all that. Before you know it, those buildings are up and running, and you still don't have a janitor. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, you know it's like. But right do you guys know how was the hooker school handled before? Do you guys know? Was there? Did they, I'm sorry. The hooker school. How was that handled? Cleaned. The senior. They center? had a service. That was the school. It used to have its own janitor. Yeah, but as a senior center. Yeah. Center, I'm not sure. And I don't know what the library does right now either. So that's why it's kind of seeing how they can coordinate it all. We have we have somebody who comes in here. I know here it's contracted. Yeah. Um, the yeah, library used to hire somebody, and I think they still did. It's mm -hmm. private. I mean, even the OPMs, they can give you an idea based on the, yeah. the type of building, the cost, the complexity of it. They can give you a percentage of how much one should put forward to main the build, maintain the building per year. And that number goes up over time. So in the first five years, it's going to be a lot less. Then the next five years, more things need to be replaced or checked out. It's just like your car, it's going to increase. But they have percentages for every single year. Well, right, Dave? 
I've not pretty been simplistic. involved in that kind of life cycle costing, but um, I believe that would be the case. Yeah. And I think we've, rec I know on the senior center, we've requested that of Phil, so I think he's gotten us something in the past. I can yeah. see. I, I'm, I'm sure you can get us the type of stuff that Tim's mentioning. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, from there, we'll just have to find out whether it's more economical to have an on, on staff person or you know, contract it out. Yeah. But, I mean, if, you, if with the number of buildings that we have or will be having, but, uh, it would be nice to have somebody that you have that one person to go to that's in charge of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that, I'm sure that was you know what they had in mind when what? when they sort of gave Gary that title right but he's not you know he's a little more he's overqualified to be a janitor <laughs> yeah yeah I wouldn't think he would be the guy there I mean that no. he's, not, he's got so much on his plate as yeah. it is that's the problem he's, he's got mean, too he's, many hats yeah 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 like some of us he's doing a great job there but yeah. it's like he's we can't keep piling stuff on his plate uh, yeah. yeah no he yeah. The, yeah. The, the, since, since I joined this committee um you know, I watched him do. I, you know, he does. He wears a lot of hats. He yeah. runs around like crazy, and the, yeah. the buildings look good. You know, yeah. he's, he's not doing a bad job. So, but yeah, I don't want to see him get overworked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just out of curiosity, Christian. So the town hall has a um, has somebody coming in to do it. Mm -hmm. They're coming in certain times a week, maybe twice a week. I don't know. I, and I that, so. is it an yeah. annual contract? So that. I believe so, but I don't know. I yeah. don't know what kind of contract it is. Yeah. How, what, how so, frequent it is. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is initially as these buildings are coming online, we could maybe hire somebody for that first year just to maintain them until we can figure this out. Because, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know, can somebody go over, you know, look at a set of plans and say, okay, this is what it's going to cost you to clean the yeah. building? I mean, well, they're, they're going to well, walk and then the only it, other advantage is service. Walk it. They got yeah. the janitorial yeah. services. Uh, I know we use one. I, I can't tell you the name, but... They go by square footage. How many guys? Strictly, how it. many guys you should have? You yeah. know, is it tile? Is it carpet? Is mm -hmm. what? So know, we could get them that. Those are restaurant yeah. versus yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. office space, yeah. and they'll tell you how many staff you should have to maintain those buildings. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, they they got a formula. So we can get that information now if we needed to. Mm -hmm. You should be able to get that off of them. If not, we can. I mean, that's something that we. Could possibly, if we don't can't get it, we can get something through um, professional services to come up with that. Yeah, because I've done that myself years past, mm -hmm. and it, it's it, there's cookie book cutters out there to do all this stuff. They give you all the percentages, and they give you the percentage based on where you are in the country. Um, uh, and I know architectural insights have done that many times over with the buildings that they've designed. They have that service. Yeah, I think we probably want to contract it for the first year just to see what it's like and get the cost and have a backup. You know, the, the only argument I have against having one person here to do it is that what happens when they go on vacation or get sick or all those things and, you know, how do we cover, like what kind of bench strength do we have? That's always our issue at, at Town Hall, like we just saw with the accountant, like, you know, we'll get you get better. sick and then all of a sudden it kind yeah. of like gets derailed and it's because we have this one Those thing. are the questions you ask yeah. up front. We yeah. want a service that has the ability. The service to would be yeah. better. I mean, yeah. say we're supposed to have one better. person, you know. Mm -hmm. If we had a department, that's different. That department. industry in particular has a high turnover. Yeah. you got a lot of personnel coming and going all the time. And you see, you know, there's a lot of different companies that do that around here. And, you know, I think the key is to have a contract with some tight parameters so if they start slipping you can get them out and get somebody else in right away um, you know that kind of stuff can get costly and, and to, to have a company that's not carrying their weight or they start uh, slipping on protocol somebody has a complaint or something um, you know I'd, I'd hate to see the town get caught into a, some long-term contract with some shabby company yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you have to go a little bit. Yeah, the, yeah. The um, plus of having your own janitorial staff is, like at the university, they are required to shovel the steps mm -hmm. for the buildings. And yeah, you got highway, but it frees up the highway guys. Mm -hmm. and let's face it, they plow all the roads before they come shoveling here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, so if you had 
one, two, three ice, depending on how many buildings you want to cover or how big of a department you want to mm -hmm. create, you have those guys to do that. They could even have their own little lawn we're out here and mowing your front grass versus not the highway department trucking all this stuff in and all. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, it's like give and take between the and departments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it could work out well if you pick the right people. But that's yeah. always yeah. the, the, the downside <laughs> yeah. if you pick the right people. Yeah, and the advantage is they can respond to daily conditions. So right. Like if it's snowing or if it's really wet that day or whatever. They're not going to get that with a service. No. They're coming at the end of the day when everybody's gone and you need them when stuff is happening. So, yeah. you know, with the change in. Sure. Um, regulation on opening up a public building with ice and snow has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. We can't open these buildings up if the if if we're not cleared. Mm -hmm. And if, if there's ice here, you're not allowed to open up. Yeah. That's a liability issue. We have the liability now. So mm -hmm. that procedure has changed dramatically. Yeah, yeah. So if we get a huge storm here and those guys are backed mm -hmm. up. I mean, that's one of, like David said, you can bring those guys in. Mm -hmm. So if you get, um, say the building's shut down because of ice and snow, all your hourly employees get paid anyways, right? Like the, the state university does when they shut down because of snow, everybody's paid. It's a, so that's a big cost to yeah. you versus having somebody that's able to salt and shovel on staff. A couple of those days, you could... <laughs> I mean, a few days last week when that iced up pretty good out there, it was treacherous. Mm -hmm. Luckily, the sun came out quick, <laughs> but it was all ice. It was amazing how iced stuff it was. Mm -hmm. But technically, you're not allowed to open. Mm -hmm. Well, good arguments for Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're meeting. We've done all we can. In hey, town report. meeting. You just get out on the floor and talk to them. <laughs> 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 Those are the people who got convinced. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be curious on the numbers. What is the cost for a service yeah, versus yeah. having your own personnel? But then there's advantages to both. So I mean, yes, it's, that's yeah. what we need to, yeah. to hear about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So do we have any other agenda items on a gentleman? The only question I had is gable ends of the highway department. We talked about that. A year and a half ago, was it money for both ends? Half the money, money disappeared. So now we got money, money for one. one. We did one. Did, did we do one? Did, I don't know. I, well, we did one. Well, we talked we about get it. Gary. And I, I don't know that. We need Gary one. here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did one. Call him one. So, um, no? I'm just going to put down what's up with the gate lens for how many minutes. I'll okay. put that down yeah, for Gary. It, it would be good. So we have money for one and get at least one protected. And then, yeah. then we got to try to get the money. For the worst one to do that. Because, because all we're doing is uh, letting another building brought away. Personally, I do the in that you can't see from the road. That way, when the tunnels people go down, they say, look how crap that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because if, Any more money here. If, if, <laughs> if the one on the road end is done, they say, oh, looks good. Well, you forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> you forget the other side. You forget <laughs> the other side. you're ready. <laughs> well, they both need to be done, so <laughs> it's a sales <laughs> yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 how much day? Like you know, let's get the, let's get, we've been working on the gable lens for how long? How many so years? Just, you, can't, you, can't get this, so you can't get two hundred fifty dollars worth of vinyl siding on the gable ends. It takes you three, four years now. I, I just really I don't know. Okay. Build a senior we'll center. The senior center will be done. <laughs> I think we started talking about that before the senior center started. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? Motion um, to adjourn. No. Well, next meeting, but we know it'll be a oh, yeah. 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 Library, library meeting on the 9th, so I'll be going. Oh, to okay. So, so we would we prefer, prefer the 10th. Okay. All right. Okay. I heard a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks.